Understanding nouns, the building blocks of English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning video. Today, we are going to explore the fundamental concept of nouns. Nouns are one of the crucial parts of English grammar, serving as the building blocks of our sentences. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what nouns are and why they are so important. Let's dive in. So, what is a noun? Well, in the simplest terms, a noun is a word that represents a person, place, thing, or idea. It's how we identify the subjects and objects in our sentences. Here are a few examples. Person, woman, teacher, Michael. Place, city, park, Australia. Thing, book, car, apple. Idea, love, freedom, courage. Remember, nouns are vital because they provide names for everything around us. Without nouns, we would struggle to communicate effectively about the world. Next, let's discuss the different types of nouns. This will help you understand the variety of ways we can use nouns in English. 1. Proper nouns. These are the names of specific people, places, or things. For instance, Michael, Paris, or Apple Inc. are proper nouns. They always start with a capital letter. 2. Common nouns. These are the opposite of proper nouns. They refer to general people, places, or things like teacher, city, or car. 3. Countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are things we can count, like apples or books. Uncountable nouns are things we can't count, like water or music. 4. Concrete and abstract nouns. Concrete nouns are things we can perceive with our senses, like flower or music. Abstract nouns represent ideas or concepts, like love or freedom. 5. Collective nouns. These refer to a group of people or things, like team or flock. Understanding these categories will help you use nouns more accurately in your sentences. Finally, let's talk about the role of nouns in a sentence. Nouns can serve different functions depending on their placement and use. Subject. The noun that performs the action of the verb. E.g., the dog chases the ball. Object. The noun that receives the action of the verb. E.g., the dog chases the ball. Complement. The noun that provides more information about the subject. E.g., he is a teacher. Nouns also often come with articles. A, N, the, and adjectives which describe them. Well, that's our introduction to the concept of nouns. Remember, nouns are foundational to English grammar. They give names to everything around us and play different roles in sentences. As we continue this series, we'll dive deeper into each type of noun and explore more complex concepts. Stay tuned, keep practicing, and happy learning!